this afternoon in the Hearst Potato Chips 200, but right now he has got his hands full with Parker Retzloff, who does not want to give up that spot. Sand quickly dropping through the hourglass here in the Hearst Potato Chips 200. Battle raging for that fourth position. Parker Retzloff to the inside. Ryan Repco to the outside. Neither driver wanting to give an inch. As we come to 13 laps to go. Wow, contact there. Ryan Repco bouncing off the outside wall. And he's going to drive it hard into the turn one foam barrier. Caution flag out for the seventh time here today. And Kenny looked like he got just enough out of the groove to brush that outside wall. Flat right front tire. He didn't have anywhere to go, and he piled headlong into those foam barriers down in turn one. Tough way to end the day for Ryan Repco. He bounced off the wall pretty good. Uh, I mean, it was pretty good hit off the wall turn four, and then a good hit down there. The the styrofoam blocks obviously helped cushion that a tremendous amount. But you know, you're a lap down. You're fourth. And you're in the fence. It's just, that's quite it's an a elevator day. ride. It's an elevator, elevator ride. ride for Ryan Repco here at Toledo Speedway this afternoon. Let's take a look at the replay there. You see, he just drifted up onto the groove a little bit off of turn four, made some significant contact down the front stretch, and that flat right front tire didn't, oh, didn't allow him to turn at all once he got down into turn number one. And Kenny, those styrofoam barriers have saved a lot of race cars over the years. That could have been way worse had those blocks not been there. Let's take a look at this vantage point from turns three and four. Right up the racetrack, and boom, there you see Ryan Repco. And those blocks are not light. No, no, but they do serve a tremendous amount of protection. That's the same type of foam that they have in the safer barrier, which is lined with the steel part, the steel and foam energy reduction barrier but uh those barriers doing their job here that could have been a lot worse for ryan repco we're going to go under the red flag here folks as we remove the number 20 car there you see ryan climbing out of that machine and talk about the emotions that this young man has had you said it kenny he went from being a lap down to racing his way up into the top five and now ending his day alongside the Outside retaining wall. What an elevator of emotions for this young man here today. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, it, it'll wear on you. Uh, I know it'll wear on you when you're 35 years old. I have no idea what it's like when you're that age. Right. You know, but uh, you know, it's just it's it's our sport. Highs and lows. Highs and lows. You never know. That's why you appreciate it so much. And it's so special when you do. Let's take another look races. from the front stretch camera here as we see him just drift a little bit out of that groove and wasn't able to get this. You saw him fighting that he steering wheel. First. He was trying. He got loose first. Yeah, and he was trying he... to catch up with the steering, and, wow, very significant contact with those blocks down in turns one and two. Yeah. And that's got to be tough. I mean, you you remember your early days as, you know, you were fighting for every opportunity you have, and there's the area you see. That's what did that right front tire in right there. But, you know, you're fighting for every opportunity you have, and you don't know when that next opportunity is going to come. And Ryan doesn't have a full schedule, and he, he really wants to come out here and, and, and make his mark. But uh, yeah, well, it's got to be tough when you don't know when your next chance is going to be. Especially there when you're 